I swear if it's war, it's war They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything I swear if it's war Yo, Munts, what are you telling them? Hey, Tony Wright, I'll start this incredible journey with you. Number 20, Cameron Campbell. Yeah? Back. Yeah. Back, that's all. Yeah, we're out. You never left. Go to the trenches, man. You saying, TC? We're here, Chris, man. We're going to get to the next round. That's all that matters. Like the Jones, man. This, is, this reminds me of old square c -dons. It's a test of our masculinity. It's wet, it's, it's cold, it's muddy. It's, this, it's bad conditions, it's comfortable to stay inside and not come out here but the boys are going to go to war today, we've travelled a long way got to big up all of the boys man, they do it every week for us Chris and there's a lot of pressure on the boys, you know what I mean? you know what happens when we lose you know, we lose one game and people start questioning things and this player's not good enough, that player don't want it enough this ain't the Dons that we once knew, do you understand? we're, we're growing, and these boys are here, week in week out they got stuff going on at home, they're playing football on a Saturday they're still representing the badge Get behind us, bro. Get behind them. Do you know what I mean? Don't worry about if it's, oh, this ain't the Dons of old. Of course it ain't. It's a different team now. But it's still the Dons. It's still the same message. And the boys are out here giving their all for the badge. So that's all we can ask for. Smurfs got ease. Yeah. Why haven't you got yours? I've Come seen. on, man. All sizes. Kids, small, medium, large, extra large. Get yours. How many slides for me today? You reckon? Slide tackles? Yeah, how many, yeah, how many slides can I get? No, 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 I don't slide. How many slides can I get for you today? What are they, Mons? I, I just keep the ball. Yeah, yeah. I don't slide. What about you, Ren? Bro, the whole game. You just do what needs to be done. Yeah, you are. What do you know about this team? Or do you even care about this nah, team? Nah, nothing. Shit, bro. Nothing. Let's go. We're in North London. It's raining. <laughs> and the Don folk are here. Why aren't you here? The Dons. 2 1. Don't know anything about the other side. I don't really know anything about them, but I've got complete confidence. I'm going to say 3 0 to the Dons. Gee, London Cup, you got to say. Big game, man. And a perfect opportunity. It's so well and good we won 10 0 last week, but what about this week? You know? Go on, you can go and beat them now, a real competition. Let me play devil's advocate. Go on. Yes, left foot! It's raining. The game shouldn't yes. be on. I'm not. Time! Up. What would you say to that mentality? You said the game ain't on. Officials decide that we're ready to play. Yes! I heard that you're going for a bit of a rebrand still. What do you mean, bro? Obviously, there's Jude Bellingham, but I'm hearing they call you Jude Catford. <laughs> what are you going to say to that? Big up Jude, man. I mean, yes, no. This is a Rhino's dream, bro. Rhino should be loving this pitch today. He said, he said he's got four slide tackles Mate. in his <laughs> <laughs> no, That's what he said. 3-1. Three, 3-1, one. Three, one, yeah. 3-1, yeah. I haven't seen much of these yeah, boys. No, no, I was hoping to see him do a bit of training, but I reckon 3-1 today. <laughs> I'm going 3-0. 3-0? Yeah. Go for this one. 3-1, Don's? Yeah, of course. Yeah, respect, respect. I'd like to see um, an entertaining game, maybe 3-3, three, three, bit of action, so all good stuff. It's going to be a tricky one in regards to the conditions, so I'll say it's going to be a draw and going into penalties, so I'll say 2-2 two, two, and then a, a, a win on penalties for Duns, definitely, 100%. 4-0 Duns. 4-0, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? 3-0. 3-0, yeah? Love it, man. Where you guys from? North? Bristol. Bristol? Yeah, yeah, coming wow. this weekend to London. Wow. I've always wanted to watch a game, so. Yeah? Well, today was the day, man. Hey, Riff, better make sure this game's on. Trust this guy, me. These guys have travelled from Bristol, you know. They got our Bristol Dons, man. Trust hey, you can do that, man. Bless. A 3 0. 3 0, yeah? 4 2. 4 2, yeah? Yeah, Dons. No. This is a family club. 2 1. 3 1, yeah? How are you? Sorry? Who are you playing ball? PG. 4 1, yeah? Yeah. yeah. What's the score going to be for today? Haringey Barra. Haringey Barra. Am I in the wrong place? They're here, they're real people. Fuck BTs, man. Yeah? What's your, what's your score prediction? Fucking 25 nil SC Dons. What about you? 8 nil Dons. 8 nil Dons. What about you? 6 nil Dons. And what about you? 7 nil Dons. Where are you man travel from? Fucking Bradford. Bradford, yeah? Pick up our Bradford Dons. Shout out my cousin Anwar as well. Yeah? Shout out my cousin Anwar. Shout out Lutful. <laughs> oh, in all respect, yeah, but it's everyone knew the weather is so bad that the game shouldn't have gone ahead. But it's held it down. It's held it down. We've got to drive a whole yeah, hour. Let me tell you what happened, right? 
If it wasn't for him, I'd have called the fucking game off. Exactly, and that's no, no, what no, we're no, saying. No, 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 that's what we're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game but should the have been off. No, no, the game shouldn't have been off because. But why do you think it was problem? Well, let me finish and I'll tell you. Go on. Right. The, the problem with this is not the rain. It's just it's a fucking direct hit at the time that you're travelling. That's the issue. And, and so well, now and, and I'm, I'm agreeing with you. That's the yeah, yeah. thing. So let's let's delay it. Let's try and get it on. But the weather's not going to change. In all respect, that's what I said. I'm not. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Yeah, I understand. Turn that shit off, man. Yeah, wait. Turn it off. Don't talk reckless, man. Keep hands to yourself. Now uh, we're now angry because we've travelled all the way from South, where's obviously okay, common sense to tell you. We've got two matches here. We're going for a 12 foot kickoff. Yeah, this, this is final. We're going for a 12 foot kickoff. I will see the pitch just before and I'll make the call there. That's all I can That's fine. Yeah, cheers. All right, cool. Thank you. Funny, man. Give us some context. So we've come all the way up here, bro, and they're telling us the game is off. We've driven for an hour and a half, bro. I spoke to someone come from Bristol, you know. Bro, that's what I'm saying, Bristol. bro. It's a long way, people, fam. People are driving from all over. We knew the game was going to be on, bro. The weather's shocking, bro. It's England, bro. This ain't real, bro. I spoke to Chairman, good morning. What's your thoughts on all this um, shambles? We just want to play, man. Irrespective, you know what I mean, Chris? It's just we want to play football, man. Every week we want to play football. We don't care about the stand, about the state of the pitch and all the rest of it. We just want to play football, man. Simple. Hey now, we got answer, we got farmer. Hey, hey, hey now, we got runner, we got JR. Hey, hey. London, big fucking game today, man. Make sure we fucking go out there and work hard and win the game. London Cup, but we ain't won it yet. We're gonna win it this year, but let's fucking do this today, man. We wanna be here. Everyone who's on this pitch wants to be here. There's no excuses today. We go to war together. This is the perfect example of togetherness. We're gonna see what the spirit's like in this team. When we're down for the count, when we're at the top, we're gonna fucking see where the character is. It's going to show today, mm -hmm. so fucking show your character, mm -hmm. hands in, go, boys. Back in the stick car. together, oh, hey, boys, stick loud. together, loud. Big loud. Loud one, loud. Yeah. Loud. three, loud. two, one, go, hey, let's go boys. Boys. so London Cup, so in between the sticks as always you have the skipper, Big G, a back three of MK47, M Fly and TC, two wing backs we got Dom, Pedigo, Perez and Rhino, two sitting we got Lefty and Raw, how about these two just in front of them, Brad Tastic and the return of K Runner the Magician. And up top in the nine, Nathan Palmer. Super subs. We're light on numbers on the bench, literally. Just Oz Ten Hag and Kingy. Support the club. So this is how the lineup is looking. And as you know, it's the London Cup, a prestigious trophy. Now is the chance to support the club and like the video. Get it done, get out of the way now. We're looking for 5,000 likes. We have more than 5,000 views. So if you're someone sitting there watching it now, like the video and help support the club. Let's get straight into this one. Okay, what's happening people? Welcome back. Another episode, SC Dons, Sunday League Football. And today we return to round two of the prestigious London Cup. It does what it says on the tin. The London Cup is full of all the best teams in London battling it out to be crowned as the kings of the capital city. In our way today, NLA, North London Athletic. I'll be honest, we don't know too much about them. But from the little research we've done, we can see they have a very, very good side. I don't think they've lost any games this season. We've also heard rumours around the grapevine that they pay their players, so expect them to have a very good team. And we turn up and realise that they certainly do. This will not be an easy game. Let's get into it. But all the budget in the world won't take away the fact we're playing Sunday League football. What would it be without a flat one? The ball sounds flat. The ball's flat. The ball's flat. Ref, the ball's flat. The ball's flat. So the battle commences. Two minutes, 35 seconds in as Rano slides in raw. He then knocks it forward to lefty, pushing the back. Ref don't give it. He sets it up for a physical affair. 3.15, NLA pump it long. M Fly gets there first and knocks it down towards the middle of the pitch. Comes to MK number 12, helps it on. Eventually it falls into the feet of the number nine. He's a good player. Definitely stood out to me, so he's a bit like a Berbatov. Watch out for him. Anyway, they find themselves through on goal. Dangerous area, massive save there from Big G. Strong wrist, number nine shoots. He's scrappy back there. And it's an early let off. Alarm bells. One flat one replaced for another. Refs ask for more. Sunday League football. Ref, you man need to spend money on football instead of paying players to wrestle. Let's use one of ours then. 6.15, it's an even dance floor at the moment. Obviously, NLA have had a better chance so far. Rano skips away from 12, a tug on the shirt, and then the only ball that's pumped up gets knocked away. Dark arts. Hey, he's red! 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 He
Boys, have you got two hours come? We've got to stop playing players and buy football. It's possible. I just rolled the ball back. Ten grand budget, no footballs. Yeah, I was the first black man in Swanley. So 746, number 16 picks it up for NLA. His name's Ade. Very good player as well. Slides it through. It's a great pass. N Fly tugs him back, but the play continues. And I think the referee's been very harsh here. Comment below. I mean, I know it's a foul, but is this a booking? Seven minutes in, first challenge. Referee's obviously, obviously setting his precedence. Yeah, 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 yeah. So approaching the 10th, and as I said, it is still the early sparring. Neither side really dominating at the moment. That one chance coming from NLA, nothing more at the moment. It comes to K-Runner, collects it in the hole, and why not? 10 minutes, 15 seconds on Bernard's watch. More from NLA, we're starting to see who that danger man is. It's number 16, that's gone. The liner don't flag it off. A uh, bad little pass back from MK, number 16 through. So another big save from G. <laughs> 12 minutes, 52 on the Michael Buble, MK 47. Knocks it out wide to Rhino, tries a cheeky inside to runner. NLA pounce on it though, number 10. Lovely pass, number 9 lets it run beside him. He's through on goal. We've got Big G in goal. He's 6 foot 6 in Ugandan. <laughs> How's he shaved that? So a massive save there from Big G, the skipper. TC then clears it. Lovely touch from Perigo Perez. He finds Brad Tastic, the teenage dirtbag. You know he sends grown men to the job centre for a living. There's no difference for this one. Skips past him. He hits the post. It's right now. Oh. 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 So end to end stuff at the moment from one big save to a massive chance there from the Dons. Punters on the sideline were saying Rhino was focused on the Ramsgate FA Cup. Meanwhile, Lano up to his tricks again. No. Not sure about that one. No, I don't know. I had to leave this one in for lefty. The punters are feeling him. Pause. Who's that Oh, lefty. Lefty's the truth, man. So, still inside the first 20. I lean over and I say, Alexa, can we get a new liner? How is he off ref? You got to read that yourself. Ref, you got to read that yourself. I know. It's a game of two halves. Let's play fair, man. Now everyone knows SC Dons are a bit of a rough bunch, but we're also men of love and romance. Geek watches the Dons episode with his wife every single weekend and he wanted to surprise her. He's probably sitting next to her right now holding her hand and he wants me to say that if you ever cry, this is how he will wipe your tears away. Nineteen forty one, bit of a scrappy clearance there from Big G, but it does the job. Big man driving forward, Rhino sticks a foot in, eventually he lashes out, which is a shame because Rhino slid through Nathan Palmer, but it does get pulled back and Rhino's gonna see yellow. Oh bloody oh hell, red man! Honestly, if it's not a red, I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, this job, man! 21 17, then more from the Dons. Rhino again with a big diag. I've seen Lee Martin do it for Ramsgate on a Saturday. It comes to Nathan Palmer. He's got Brad Tastic joining the party, but you know Nathan Palmer's got the bollocks to go alone. Skits past one. I tell you what, seen him do it. Nice. Word to big bro, Jar Jar Sauce. We're just some poverty driven children. Number 16 wants to come over and brag about NLA's budget. Talking of shirts that fit you, we've got a brand new Ironside Valhalla and Saudi Fives jerseys all in stock. We ship worldwide and we have all sizes available. www.scdons.com. Chris, let's get back into it. Hey Boogie, forgive me, but nothing really comes from this clip. We've got the boy K runner back on the green stuff. Knocks it over the number 10, finds Brad Tastic, he eventually gets fouled. 
But just seeing them two in the pitch is a joy to watch. So what are you doing? What are you doing then? Ref, what are you doing? Hey ref, so what's going on then? Quick fun fact about the Dons. We've never lost to a North London club in the London Cup. In fact, in general, we've never lost to one anyway. Here they are now, through on goal, but that's raw. In the middle of the pitch, sliding around like a dirty pig. But he's done it for the badge. Raw. Rhinos are dangerous animals, but they can't talk. So when 16's poking fun at him, Donny Jones steps in. Come on. <laughs> 33 on the clock. They'd rather Big G go down and cry about it. They're going to hate you for this one. Get yourself up. Get yourself up. Get up! 35 on the clock, still nil nil here in Cock Fosters. Raw knocks it over to Brad Tastic, who pulls away from the midfielder. He's causing havoc every time he gets it, to be fair. Continues his run, collects it again. Lovely little step over onto his left foot. He could hit it, but he slides through Nathan Palmer. Great idea. It's a little bit too much on it. Keepers on five bills, you know. 39 50, Don's really growing into the half at the moment. MK knocks it through to Brad Tassett. Like I said, he's finding good space there in the middle. Uh, gets a second chance here, drives forward. That's a pull on the shirt. Ref don't give it, so he plays on. Uh, more from Brad, though. He knocks it back to Nathan Palmer. He's got lefty just beside him. Uh, Dom Perez in front of him, but first time across the pitch to K Runner. Raw to his right, also Rhino out very wide. Uh, he looks to try and slide it back through to K Runner. Good passage of play here. We eventually win a corner. Now, this was a big shame because the way Brad Tassett was causing havoc out there. Every time he got in it, it was a problem. But you know his nickname, the Dirtbag, and how ironic. The truth is, he was suffering from severe diarrhea, but he came and played, done it for the badge. But he literally can't stand up anymore, and he's gonna have to come off, and that will be the last we see of him today. So it's a straight swap, Dirtbag off, Oz Ten Hag on. So, last few moments of the half now, keeper pumps it long, Don Perez rises, nudging the back, referee gives it our way, lefty being lefty, he's thinking quick at all times and plays it early. K runner takes it on the spin, Nathan Palmer just in front of him, skips away from one, comes to Don Perigo Perez on the left, he lets it fly. I've seen him once go bottom with a corner from him at the fives. Anyway, it's easy for the keeper, and the uh, full time whistle, half time whistle does go, sorry, and that's nil nil. We're just gonna change it slightly, just to give Nathan some support. So Oz is now gonna go play up top with Nathan. So we've got two up there and that should allow us, so allow someone like <coughs> Dom, that means that when runners kind of shifting a little bit, you can now step infield just a tad because we can still have that overload to be able to play through the pockets. But having Nathan and Ozzy up there will allow them to go and spread it in behind, which means that their back line drops deeper and that should allow you to pick it up in those pockets and it should allow us to work the wide areas better. You can miss you, you're free now. So you see where you see the 10, you can go left 10, you can go right 10. Do you get what I'm saying? Just You just be as free as you as free as free possible. When you see space, you just run into it or find it. They are on the goal side. We don't want to have to see George make another spectacular save in the second half. We want to make sure that we defend right, we defend properly. And then when we're going forward, we know we have the quality. We just need to make sure we make the right decisions. Support the club! Long episode, I'll keep it quick. Valhalla, Ironside and Saudi's back in stock. All the Dom merch available on the website. Support the club. We appreciate you. Chris, let's get back into it. Support the club! So, second half begins. And 45 minutes away from securing ourselves in the next round of the London Cup and keeping up the tradition of never losing a North London to a North London side. As you can see from the boys, they're pressing from the beginning. It's dirty, it's wet, but they want to be here. Good boy! Good boy, go! You say it's worth? No, it is the line. Uh, did you hear what he said? He's bribing me. Pick 500 pounds and they get a penalty. 6,000 pounds you get. Give me two penalty. I'll take you on holiday day as well. I think. <laughs> So five minutes into the second, NLA coming forward now, try to find a big man. TC does enough to knock him off his balance. It comes to K Runner. He's got three men around him just twisting and turning. They can't get off of him. They call him the SC6 Doku. Nothing really comes from this, but I had to highlight the boy. He's back. 50-31, M-Flat knocks it over to lefty. Great sat nav on him, so he just jacks it. He knows TC's behind him. First time forward, tries to find Oz. It's a good run. 
A loose pass uh, picked up by Don Pires. He finds lefty onto his right foot, releases Don Pires. He's got Nathan Barber in the box, whips it in, but it's too close to the keeper. From one end of the pitch to the other, and the leg coming forward now. And they release that number 16 again, Ade. He's got M-Fly over there, just jockeying him. He's comfortable on both foot, this guy. Then takes it past M-Fly, drives into the box. Well, it's a good save there from Big G. Come on, come on, come on. 53-28, more from NLA on the ball now. Collecting it in the middle. Rhino just pushing him backwards. It comes to the number 12. He somehow keeps possession of it. He manages to skip past MK and then he continues his run, gets it back from the number seven. Big G comes out to make himself big, fires it across the box. TC lets it run across his body and does enough to get away from danger. 54 on the clock, Smurf, he loves the badge. He's been promised a trip to Ibiza, but he won't let it sway his decisions. Oh, he was behind! Oh my God! Oh my God! No, no, you're not going to Ibiza! You're going to fuck yourself in! 55 34, Don Perez, he wants it more. That's why he gets his foot there, slides it over towards TC. Raw lets it run across his body, picks out K Runner in the hole, slides it through to Don Perez. Keeper does enough to get there. Yes, K! So corner for the Dons. Nathan Palmer fires it in on the floor. Comes to Oz Ten Hag. He could have smashed it top bins, but he tries to place it only as far as MK. It's all scrappy in the middle. Eventually, and then they get it away. Only as far as the massive head of Rhino. M Fly then keeps it alive, whips it across, and we get a throw on out of it. Or corner, sorry. So approaching the 60th now. Uh, shouts for a handball and the skipper there. Ref don't give it, comes to the number nine, holds it up well, turns. He's got both feet on him with the left foot. He switches out wide, picks out the number 16. Tricky customer, Rhino comes across to him. He's comfortable, like I said, on the right and left. He shifts it onto his left. It's a close effort. Lano up to his tricks again. No way! 60 minutes in, big moment in the game. I'm always going to come across biased because I'm an SC Dons fan. But tell me, what do you think? I see two hands on the back of Oz. For me, that's a penalty. But the ref hasn't given it. Sixty-three, sixteen. SC Don's knocking on the door at the moment. It comes to TC, knocks it forward. First time pass from Oz Ten Hag. What a ball! Seen Van Persie do it. And Nathan Palmer puts it wayward. Hey, good play! Hey, good play! Sixty-six on the juice box. It's Sunday League football, though. Some of you are just here for the tackles. Two beauties in there in the middle of the pitch, but if that ain't enough. Here's another one. Boys, don't get sucked in too deep. Hey, Boogie, if you're watching. 70 on the clock, 20 left to go. Lefty finds Don Pires. Nathan Palmer touch inside. Nathan Palmer! You've heard us say it, big game, big players. Nathan Palmer's got over a hundred for the club. Oz Ten Hag pounces on a mistake, drives forward and sees Nathan in the box. You know how that poem ends. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> We're better than these lot. Eight mils. Sixteen, how much you want? Six mils? Seven mils? So one nil to the Dons and look who gets dragged. Oh shit. Number sixteen. Yeah, man, he was the man, man. He was the man. He was the man. Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio. Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio. Let me just tell you something. 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 Now you can talk, innit? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 you got kids there, man. man. Sit you got kids there, mate. Down. You got kids there. Hi, Mike. Hold that. Keep going, my boy. Keep going, man. Keep going. 
So just like that, deadlock broken, 1-0 SE Dons. Deservedly so, well taken finish from the boy Nathan Palmer. And lefty finds him again, here he is, 1v1. Cuts inside of the number six. Oh, run up, run up. It's a green wave in the north side of the capital city, 1-0 to the Dons, pushing for a second, left into Nathan, back to lefty, sticks one through his letterbox, intricate work up there, tries to find Don Perez, it falls to lefty though, it's a real muddy patch, uh, part of the pitch there, K-Runner does enough to put his body on the line, clears it away, to some celebration from the pundits. I'll be honest, we're just a bunch of old men shouting for a badge that we love, the gaffer's lost his voice. For fuck's sake! Yes! Ref, Gaff has lost his voice. <laughs> 79, 10, 11 to go. Nathan Palmer collects it, tries to back heel it for Don Pires. Six does enough. Comes to the keeper, he clears it first time to clear the danger. Drops to the number 10 in the middle of the park, turns and faces. He's got his skipper to his right hand side. He looks forward, uh, number 11. Releases their number 7. TC tries to put his body on the line. And it's a controversial moment and a big moment. A penalty is given. You remember a little bit earlier, similar thing happened to Oz Ten Hag and it wasn't given. Lifeline for the NLA. Big moment. So feeling really harshly done, we think we've been excellent this half, we've defended so well and just like that they've been given a lifeline credit to their striker, he kept composed and took his chance, it comes to Rolo, can we get a last minute one, comes close. That's the only decent shot we've got done. And with a full time whistle going it is going to end, SE Dons 1, NLA 1, it's London Cup, there's no extra time, we go straight to the penalties. We defended so well in that second half, we didn't deserve that, but at the end of the day we are where we are. Yeah. So let's go, first penalty taker, yes. second penalty then, taker, I'll go. Which one, Mo or Rion? I'll go second. I'll go. Oh, I'll go. I'm four, I'm four. Alright, so wait, Nate, Nate, second. <laughs> Nate, three, MK, four is lefty, five is Oz. Six. Dom. Six, Dom. Seven. Miles. Eight. There we go. We got eight. 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 We got Nothing ever comfortable. So we're gonna get into the penalty shootouts. And as I always do, I try to make this experience as natural for you guys as possible for those that can't make it. So I want you to feel like you were there. I'm not gonna do any commentary and I'll come in at the end. Enjoy it. Get in there, fucking get in there. Get in, come on. It's all in the run-up, Ivory, come on. It's all in the run-up, bro. What the fuck? Georgia's on top. Even, even, even my man shot, friend. Bro, that's a massive shot. Georgia's on flame, friend. Yeah, Georgia's on flame, friend. Really what was he eating in Kenya, friend? <laughs> <laughs> what was that man eating in Kenya, bro? That's it. <laughs> Season. <laughs> 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 hey, season! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
by season. But he misses this. He wants to win. Yeah, and we ran up as well. We ran. Boss Ten Hag, we meet again. Will you stay composed, brother? Will you? No! 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 Big man. You deserve it. You know, you know you it. He's a man of God, bro, and that's why. I'm telling you, that's why. At that risk. I wanna be here, bro. I wanna be here, bro. Skip for the club. The skip for the club, bro. The skip for the club. You see what he's done? You saw what he's done. You saw what he's done. You see them C's, bro? Hey, the chosen boy. It's always you sells it. Hey. How the hell did you do that? God, why did you do it? For God. God bless our hard work every time. It ain't me. But I hope the people at home are seeing what, what it means to us, man. We represent you. That's never going to change. We love this club and we love our community that's supporting. The amount of times I've got to say it, we really appreciate your support. And that's why we put in performances like this. This is grassroots football, man. We're proud of it. We represent it. We represent you. So God bless, man.